Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Today we're going to be reviewing the Malero rings by Ernesto Malero. Before we do that, can you please like and subscribe? Check out Carb Magic Course, why don't you? Get on it. It's great. Everybody loves it. Never a bit of negative feedback. And uh, it's a wonderful community. So if you love this, you will love my... Uh, my tutorials going back to 2013, you get so much on there. I'm not going to bang on about it, but check out carbmagiccourse.com. Learn from a pro. That's me. And, uh, and if you want a free taster, you get a cull course, a spread cull course. That's one of the most powerful moves in carb magic. Have a look at that. That's carbmagiccourse.com forward slash cull, C-U-L-L, -L, and you get a whole free course on that wonderful move. Have a look. Get amongst it. Right, so many, about 25 years ago, when there was a magic convention last, <laughs> which was Blackpool, a year and a half ago, whatever, uh, these were actually at the convention. They, it was a kind of pre-early release, and, and, they, and I think they'd just come out, and then obviously COVID hit, and, and they, they've been released now. And if you hear, if you hear um, any noises, by the way, this is natural light for the first time in nearly a year. I've got natural light coming in my office. I've got the windows open. We're throwing caution to the wind here. There is going to be some, uh, and I'm going to take my glasses off. That's what I'm going to even, oh, blimey, I'm going to even do that. Uh, so if you hear noises, that's what that is. So I saw this and, and I, I love linking rings. So it's slightly biased. I've performed Shooter Gower's Ninja Rings for years. Real soft spot for it. I know people think, oh, they're weird. They're, they're a bit old school. Honestly, people love them. There is something very, very magical about these. I'm not saying everybody's going to love them, but they are, they're really, really strong. Um, and, and I saw that there was this little gimmick attached to this. There was this other thing. And I looked at it and kind of went, that's just not going to work in a majority of situations because I kind of misunderstood what it was. I was shown very briefly kind of what it meant, not by Ernesto, um, by someone at Vanish Inc. And just kind of went, yeah, that's not really going to do much. Anyway, I kind of forgot about them. Took them home, put them in a drawer and waited for release. Then the, I saw they were coming out, so I got them out and played with them again. Watched the tutorial, and I went, oh, right, I get it. These are way better than I thought they were going to be. So first of all, they are Lincoln Rings. The, 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 the new, you can get these at like, any magic shop. You can't get these, but you can get mini Lincoln Rings from any magic shop, you know, and they do, they do the job. But there's something special about these. One of them is the gimmick that I'll talk about in a minute, but it's also they're very, very well made, which is very important because you're going to be clattering the things together, especially if you're performing these and practicing a lot, which you will probably have to if you've never done these. They, they, do want to, they don't want to be wearing down and getting all scratchy. These are chrome-plated, I believe. Um, they're very well made. I've chucked them around a lot and there's not even a mark on them. And they're, they're kind of substantial, so that's the first thing. These, these are my ninja rings, which are lovely, but they're smaller. They're a little bit, they're smaller, and they're, and which is fine, but they're, they're a bit more, you know, you've got a kind of, oh, you know, the, the, do you know what I mean? Which is not good or bad, it's just different. Um, so again, great for close-ups. These, I mean, if you put the two together, they're, they're bigger, so better for parlor. These aren't very good for stage and parlor. They kind of disappear a little bit. Uh, these are, are, are more substantial. They feel thicker. There's a lot more to them. Um, and they've, they've got the, the linking ring, the gimmick that all linking rings have. I'm not going to show it. I know that it's in kids' magic sets and stuff, but it just doesn't feel right. But um, these are, are, are curved. So basically to do the main link is a lot easier. Now, if you've ever used a really cheap one, it's nice to sell them on the magic store. They are not easy to do. They kind of, it, it does make a big difference. Now, I will say the Shooter Girl one had a similar kind of thing, but slightly different. Uh, but these, again, they're just more robust. They, they're, they, they're more for, again, for parlor and close up. And they're really, really lovely to, to use. If you like me and you like that substantial feel of a clang, um, it's lovely. But there's this gimmick. So they're great. They're really, really well made. We, we cover that. Um, there's this gimmick. And what this allows you to do is to show the rings in a way that is very open. I did it at the beginning and I've, done, I've got to look back and make sure it didn't expose anything because I'm not sure. So he might not see it. But I've, I've done some recording of it. And there is something in this. Because when I do the Lincoln rings, I kind of accept that some kids are going to know 
Uh, it's not, I don't know why I say kids, but actually more kids because they've got them in magic sets. Adults tend to forget, but kids have got these. They get the little plastic ones. They know that there's a key ring in there. They know what it does. And I get these out and they go, oh, it does a thing. Now, weirdly enough, even when I do that, and when I first saw this routine, you see Shooter Gower do it. I know there's a gimmick there, but it almost makes it better. Because I'm going, how does this look so good? So there is that as well. There's something very beautiful about this. The aesthetic is wonderful, I think, regardless of how you know, whether you know how it's done. But we do want to be as magical as possible, don't we? So there's this disarming moment in this where you go, link, link, you do the thing, and then you show them and go, oh, right. And when I saw Ernesto do this on the download, that's when it clicked. I kind of went, that's brilliant. That is really good. I'm not as angry as I thought it would be. So that's what happens here. You get, to, you get to show them like this, and that's when people just let go and, and enjoy themselves. That is more powerful. To, and we're talking about subtlety here, but we're talking about, we all know that there's, subtlety is a small thing that has a profound effect, effect, and this is the subtlety that has the effect. I think it is not gilding I think with some tricks, you know, we always say just really hammer the home, oh, it's a normal deck of cards is a problem, but this is something that people generally do kind of know about. And you don't, you don't go on about it, but you just show a couple of times in this routine, they just go, okay, I'm done. There is a joy to that as well, and as there is a joy to the learning of this. I spent a good amount of time with these. I mean, like I said, I do perform the rings anyway, but learning Ernesto's uh, routine. There are three routines on this and some sort of added little bits and pieces. There is a basic routine and advanced routine. Now that's not, to, no, I would say the advanced routine isn't actually any more difficult. It's just got more in it to remember. But So I would say don't just learn the basic. And by the way, the basic isn't it? I think the basic is probably better in some situations. The, the, the advanced goes, goes on a bit long for some situations, depending on what you're doing with it. Um, it's just more moves in it, but they're both just as good as each other. So again, don't kind of go on to the advanced thinking, oh, I don't want the basic one if you're anything like me. Um, learn both of them. And then there's a close-up version. The close-up version, again, kind of mixes the two. It's a little bit longer than the basic. It's got a couple of moves in it. And the lovely thing is you can see uh, George standing next to Ernesto and on the download and just really, <laughs> really enjoying himself. It's really, really nice to see. Lovely to see when someone you know has seen a lot of magic is just like that little kid. And that's not fake, you know, I, I don't care. You, you can tell that's genuine. And that was a joy to watch. It's really well shot as if you've seen Ernesto's other downloads, the card is stunning stuff. But I would say the card downloads that he did, I would say are advanced. This, I think, it's within the capability of most people. I don't think there's, there's nothing really knuckle busting happening. It's just whether you've got the time to learn it. And I, like I said, I adore learning this stuff. I really get into flow. I love the way it's challenging. You know, you're looking at the gun, where's he got his fingers? But thankfully it's shot really, really well for that. The way they sort of pause on the video and these circles come up that show you exactly what you're meant to be looking at, make sure the fingers are here, is super useful. The only thing I always say about there's in downloads is I kind of wish for the DVDs really because I used to love the fact you could go back DVDs and visually see that you're going back like two seconds whereas in downloads sometimes you go up it's a bit kind of like harder to navigate but that's that's me being old um, that's not a complaint uh, so I would say the there's another thing about this gimmick is if you like some linking rings have got like the lo lo the locking link haven't they like the big ones on stage and then they lock and that's great but you've you kind of You've got to commit to that, and I don't like that. I think that's, there's too much going on there. With this, you can do all your existing ring stuff. So if you if you already do the ninja rings, you can do it all there. You can use the gimmick or not. It's not there. It doesn't have to be used, which, again, is a really important thing. If you just want to do normal stuff and you think, I don't want to do the gimmick thing today, my angles are a bit iffy, then you don't have to. So they're just a solid set of rings. That come in a nice package in it as well, which is important, again, if you're sort of clattering them about. I know I'm being gushy. It's, I just really love them. Um, the talking about angles, that's the one thing. If you're going to use the gimmick for those couple of bits that, that, that add, add to the magic, there is an angle situation, but not as much as I thought when I first saw it. Basically, if you're, if you've got people in front of you, you're fine. If you've got people surrounding you, you're going to have to be, you're going to have to do more the close up version, kind of have it, have it here and not maybe use it as much, but that, but that's okay. So again, you know, I'm biased. I love the Lincoln rings. I think they're, they're just brilliant. This is a brilliant set of rings. Ernesto's routine is 
amazing that our download has got everything you need it was a master class in rings you don't need anything more than that and and then you can take it on and improvise you know with with, with other routines you know what hayden's got his comedy linking ring routine that i actually did on stage on a cruise ship not really well but i did it about seven eight times um and even though i didn't do it very well it went down really well so you can get get into that the close-up version has this amazing bit where they're holding the ring and you link it onto their linking ring when they're holding it and it's not there's a version of that on on many routines and again Stuart Gale had a version of that they hold the link you link but this one is is even more deceptive it, it and he's I mean he's a great thinker on so you can see he's skilled he really you, the amount of time that's gone into this is incredible and I'm really happy that this is available I think we're going to be seeing a lot more from Ernesto. We've seen a fair bit from him already, but more, and I'm, I'm excited to see what he comes up with next. So if you want a set of rings and you haven't got them, get these. Again, I'm not affiliated. Uh, I don't just say stuff positively just because I'm scared people won't send me more stuff. <laughs> There's never any pressure. Uh, but I'm going to be using these, and I still had a great time with them uh, yesterday you know, and, and on the lead-up. So there you go. Um, all the links will be below. Thank you to Vanishing Inc. for sending these to me. Thank you for Ernesto for making them and putting the time in to bring us this wonderful routine. It is a real uh, classic and it's a classic for a reason. Um, get amongst it. So thank you very much. Please like, subscribe for your free spread curl download. One of the greatest moves in curl magic. Go to carlmagiccourse.com forward slash curl. If you don't want to do that, just go to carlmagiccourse.com and it's all there for you. Take care. Have a great one. Bye bye.